Dramatic volcanic eruptions happen all around the world. Humans are left in both fear and awe of these fiery, powerful, and highly dangerous events. Today, there are over 600 active volcanoes on Earth, with at least 50 eruptions occurring each year. But did you know there are many other volcanoes out there that are extinct or dormant? What is going on under the surface to cause such a destructive event? To answer this question, we must first understand what a volcano is. A volcano is essentially a rupture in the Earth's crust, the Earth's rocky outermost layer that lies on top of its hotter inner layers. The Earth's crust and the upper mantle form the lithosphere. The lithosphere is broken up into slabs known as tectonic plates, and they fit together like puzzle pieces to make up the surface of the Earth. Most volcanoes are found along these tectonic plate margins, either at a destructive or constructive plate margin. Both of these margins allow gas and molten rock to escape from inside the planet to the surface. At a destructive or convergent plate margin, an oceanic tectonic plate, which is a plate mostly covered by the sea, and a continental plate, which is mostly covered by land, move towards each other. The denser oceanic plate sinks under the continental plate melting down into the Earth's mantle. This melting releases gases that make their way through the crust above and erupt through the surface. At a constructive or divergent plate margin, the two plates move apart really slowly, less than five centimeters per year. But over time, this allows extremely hot magma to rise up from deep within the planet magma rises and fills the gaps created by the plates moving away from each other. And eventually, new crust is formed. Magma at the margin can sometimes explode through this new crust, creating a volcanic eruption. Many of these constructive margins are found under the ocean. If you map the locations of volcanoes, you'll see that 75% of the world's active volcanoes are along the margin of the Pacific Plate. Volcanologists refer to this as the Ring of Fire. Since 1850, approximately 90% of the 16 most powerful volcanic eruptions on Earth have occurred within the Pacific Ring of Fire, making it one of the most dangerous places on Earth. However, there are places on Earth where a volcano can form away from tectonic plate boundaries. We call these hotspot volcanoes. They form when rising magma from deep within the planet melts through the tectonic plate above and begins to build up. An example of this is the Hawaiian Islands which are all made of a mixture of extinct and active volcanoes that have broken through the middle of the Pacific Plate. Now that you know where volcanoes form, let's learn about their different types. There are two main types, composite volcanoes and shield volcanoes. The majority of volcanoes are composite volcanoes, these are commonly found on destructive plate margins and have a distinctive conical shape. Let's slice a composite volcano in half to learn more about it. At the bottom of a composite volcano lies a magma chamber, which is like a hot bubbling furnace. Magma enters the chamber from the Earth's mantle and collects here until pressure builds, causing gases to expand and water to become steam. Eventually, the pressure becomes so high that an explosion, or volcanic eruption, occurs. Most of the magma moves through the main vent, 
and exits the volcano through the crater. Some magma also makes its way through secondary vents and out through secondary cones. Craters can eject four different types of materials into the atmosphere. These include lava, which is the name for magma that has reached the surface of the Earth, pieces of rocks called volcanic bombs, thick ash, and gas. With every eruption, the lava that travels out of the crater cools and solidifies along with ash to form alternate layers of ash and lava. Composite volcanoes are also known as stratovolcanoes because strato means layers. Shield volcanoes, on the other hand, are usually found on constructive plate margins or at hotspots. They have gentle sloping sides caused by runny lava, flowing quicker and covering longer distances before it solidifies. They usually erupt less violently as compared to composite volcanoes. Volcanoes reflect the movements of Earth's major tectonic plates and are signs of activity occurring under the Earth's surface. This gives us evidence that the Earth is not just a static and rigid rock, but one full of dynamic and powerful forces.